All right, my friends, I've been talking about BYD finally revealing their new electric car technology, which is, wow, it is such a big difference in comparison to, say, for example, the BYD Seal, which is, you know, it's decent, it's good, but uh, it's pretty old school in comparison to BYD's new EV platform and its new batteries. In fact, the difference is so stark, you'd be shocked to see it. I think you'd be really shocked to see the technological advantage or improvements that BYD have just revealed, charging speed, EV platform, the voltage, it's actually kind of surprising even to me. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You've been watching The Electric Viking. It's great to have you with us. I have an Xpeng G6 and there's a new Xpeng G7 that's just come out. It's got some pretty damn awesome technology as well. I'll have a video up about that too. And you know what? I have been talking about how my car can charge a lot faster than any BYD cars you can currently buy outside of China. And that is true. It's a lot faster. The charging speed difference is massive. That could change though within the next year or two because BYD have just revealed their new technology. The new BYD Han gets dual gun charging. Uh, you can charge from 16% to 100%, that's a very unusual figure, 16% to 100%, I'm not sure where they quoted that, but anyway, you can do that in 24 minutes, which is ridiculous. In fact, this may make it the fastest charging car ever in terms of mass production. You can even do that at minus 30 degrees Celsius, which is also equally ridiculous. Now, Car News China just revealed the new BYD Han will have a 945 volt architecture and have charging that appears to be faster than 600 kilowatt. They haven't released the actual numbers, but it looks like it's faster than 600 kilowatt. Charging from 16% to 80% takes 10 minutes. Now, there are EVs in China that can charge a little bit faster from 10 to 80% than this car. But to get that 100% figure, normally an EV battery will, will charge much slower from about 80 to 100%. So it's not really worth sitting around and waiting for it. People will just leave it 80%. I'll leave a fast charger at about 80, 80 to 90% because it's not really worth, like I said, waiting to get to that 100% number. The fact that this car can go from 16 to 100% in 24 minutes I don't think we've seen that before in the industry. So that's that's insane. 14 minutes, right, from 10 to 80% is, is really good. It's just not the absolute best, but it's still amazing. And this is clearly the fastest charging speed we've ever seen from a BOD electric car. The fact that it can even charge uh, minus 30 degrees Celsius, it can be charged by a 120 kilowatt charger. We haven't seen that in the industry yet either. Uh, and that really shows you that electric cars and in particular lithium ion phosphate batteries which have had problems in the cold have come a long way what this means is that BOD's new batteries the new LFP batteries are capable of charging and operating in freezing cold temperatures we're talking temperatures you'd see on Mount Everest minus 30 degrees celsius now I know it gets cold in that there but that's you know that's that's around about Mount Everest temperature the most interesting thing though as Car News China has reported, is the BYD Han can use two chargers at the same time. So you can see in this picture here, there's a BYD Denza being charged by two different chargers at once. That means you can plug their guns in simultaneously and charge much more quickly. BYD did use this technology on the Denza D9 and the Denza N7. And I believe General Motors have as well with some of their vehicles. So the charging specs have been revealed to be 580 kilowatt. So the power has been revealed of the motor, right? The real motor for the BYD Han, it is 580 kilowatts. So just one motor has 580 kilowatt of power. That motor, I believe, weighs about 80, 70 to 80 kilograms. That's an incredibly energy dense motor. In other words, stick two of those motors on a car. You've got 1,160 kilowatt of power. What about if you went quad motor, right? One motor, two motors at the front, two motors at the back. I mean, you're talking about more than 2,200 kilowatt of power. I, I think that um, that would be absolutely ridiculous and comple completely unnecessary, but it's kind of insane to think of what's possible, right? The motor can spin at a maximum speed of 30,500 RPM, which I have never seen that before from any other electric mo car motor. That is insane. The next fastest, I believe, electric motor is Xiaomi's Hyper Engine V8, and that has 
that can spin at 27,200 RPM. Now the Hard L actually has two electric motors for a total system power of 810 kilowatt, which is obviously well over a thousand horsepower, and it can do zero to 100 in 2.7 seconds. And that's pretty damn fast considering this is a huge vehicle. It's actually 5.5 meters long. It's longer, I believe, than a, a Ford Ranger and a Ford Everest. And to give you an, an, an idea on the power in terms of its imperial numbers, it's 1,085 horsepower. Now, BYD haven't actually said what batteries are in this vehicle, but it's pretty clear what they are, right? BYD have used their new short blade battery. So BYD's short blade battery is a different variation of their blade battery. It's like an advanced evolutionary product of a, an advanced version of their blade battery. And it's very similar to Geely's short blade battery, their Aegis short blade battery. Anyhow, what, what these short blade batteries are, they're about half the length of a traditional blade battery. And halving, this, halving the length of them enables much, much faster charging speeds. The energy density is a little bit higher as well. I believe the energy density has come from about 165 watt hours per kilogram to 175 watt hours per kilogram, a little bit below Geely's version, which is at 182 watt hours per kilogram. But to give you some context, BOD have a different version of this battery that can't charge as quickly, but has much higher energy density and is a traditional blade battery, but it has an energy density of around 205 to 210 watt hours per kilogram. How much more range would you get? Let's say you went and you wanted to buy a BYD Sealed, right? And you wanted, you, you chose the option with an 80 kilowatt hour battery. Yeah, you'd be looking at probably around 20% more range using that higher energy density battery, which has faster charging than the existing battery. I believe the charging speed of that battery is around 250 to 270 kilowatt, which is good. But if you bought the lower energy density version, which still has higher energy density than the existing blade battery, you could charge at 600 kilowatt, crazy speeds. And you'd probably get around about 5 to 10% more range. So range improvement and massive charging speed improvements. So this uh, has some people emailing me and asking me the question, hey, um, people are saying, should I buy an existing car because I'm worried that um, these new batteries will come out or te new technology is going to come out and it's going to be better, it's going to supersede these vehicles. I think it's going to take a fair while before these batteries hit traditional BOD affordable cars like the BOD Seal, the 803, the Dolphin, uh, the BYD Shark. I think it's going to take probably 18 months before we see those batteries hit those vehicles. They're going to be a fair bit more expensive. They're going to be like the, the more premium BYD cars for at least the, the next year at, at the least. So if you're looking to get a car and you need a car now, I wouldn't wait. But you know, if you don't need a car today, it might be worth waiting. As you can see, these new Blade batteries and this new architecture. It's not just the batteries, it's the architecture as well. Having that 900 and having that 945 volt architecture is truly revolutionary now you might be thinking to yourself well there's another issue here i can't charge at 600 kilowatt charging because well where are their charges in australia or in thailand or in the uk or europe wherever you are where are the charges where you can charge two charges at one time and that's a pretty good point it's probably not going to be easy to actually get that to happen it might be possible though to Tesla supercharge. You know, the superchargers, they're really close to each other. There might be locations where you can figure it out. It'd be kind of a fun game to get that to work, wouldn't it? I, I think it might be possible. I'm not sure on that one. Do you guys have any thoughts? Let me know what your thoughts are about these new batteries in the comment section below. Is this sort of stuff exciting to you? I find this stuff really exciting. Does it excite you too? Let me know in the comments.